categorize the expressions as greater than zero or less than zero. So this first one is negative 1.75 plus 1.25. Well, this number, negative 1.75, it goes more in the left direction than 1.25 goes in the right direction. Another way of thinking about it, the absolute value of this number is larger than the absolute value of this number. And since this one is negative, our answer is going to be negative. So this is going to be negative right over there. Now let's see, 5.6 minus 7.6. So we have a larger number being subtracted from a smaller number. So once again, this right over here is going to be less than zero. We're multiplying two negative numbers. When you multiply two negative numbers, you get a positive number. So let's put that right over there. And now we have a negative divided by a negative. So once again, a negative times a negative or a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. When you have the same sign on two numbers and you multiply or divide them, then you're going to have a positive value, whether that same sign is positive or negative. If you have two numbers and the signs are different, then when you multiply or divide them, you're going to get a negative number. So I think we got all of these in a reasonable state. So let's try another one of these. So they again, categorize the expressions as greater than zero or less than zero. So negative 0.8 plus 1.2. So here, the number that is negative has a smaller magnitude than the number that is positive. This goes less to the left than this goes to the right. Another way you could think about it is if you're rearranging this, you could write this as 1.2 plus negative 0.8, or which would be the same thing as 1.2 minus 0.8. 1.2 is larger than 0.8. So this is going to be greater than zero. Subtracting a larger number from a smaller number, that's going to be less than zero. Multiplying a positive times a negative. Well, you have two numbers, their signs are different, and you're multiplying them, that's going to be a negative. And then dividing a negative by a negative, well, that's going to give you a positive.